I decided with the valves out and everything all clean, um, it would be a shame not to lap the valves in to make sure that they're seating 100% for the maximum compression. So to do that, I um, put the exhaust valves. The exhaust valves are pretty dirty. I put them in the bead blaster and I clean them up. And you can see on the maybe you can see if it focuses on the, the seating part of the valve there. It's now kind of a, a dull gray. Now that everything's cleaned up, this is the valve seat in the head. So I just put a little bit of um, assembly lube on the shaft so it'll slide in nicely. Like that. And then I've done the same on this intake valve. So they, they turn nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of the valve lapping compound. Stuff from Napa valve grease, valve grinding compound, and you can dab a little bit on the, on the seat side of each of these valves, and I'm using my, my drill, I'm going to grab onto the back side of the valve, right here, and I'm going to spin it, and I'm going to be able to lap it. To put the lapping compound on, I don't know how good it is for your skin. So I've been using a rubber glove. So I can kind of dip my finger in it, get some of the, the gritty goo, lift the valve up, and then just make sure that I smear it onto the, the seating surface of the valve on the back end here. Make sure it's kind of distributed, and then any excess kind of wipe on the, the valve seat side. The same for the intake valve. All right. Now we're ready to go. So taking my drill, I can use the chuck to grab onto the stem of the valve. And now, as the drill spins, I'm going to kind of pull back to give it a little bit of pressure against the seat, and then I'm going to lift it up periodically. And you don't have to do it super fast or super hard. And then I'm going to reverse directions on the next drill. Remember that, um, you know, this is going to cause friction. Friction causes heat, so that's why you don't want to just run the drill full speed ahead. this grid up very well. The grid is not fun stuff. Use some uh, paper towels and some brake cleaner. So slide the, the valve out. And start getting that grit all cleaned up. And the assembly loop too, because you know it's pretty sticky stuff and the grit will stick to it. So it's best to clean that valve all the way, top and bottom. And then uh, you'll see that it's kind of a, a, a uniform gray gray surface on the on the valve seat there. And then also, you know, wipe off the seat on the head. And then I'm going to I have a set of little nylon brushes. You know, I'm going to use these to clean out the guides and you know, make sure that the, everything's cleaned out really well with this grit. Get this grit out of there. And that is the
the lapping of the valves. Let's see how this one turns out. Remember, now that these are lapped, it's very critical to keep their order exactly the same. You know, the, the valve that comes out of the this, this side, this is actually number eight, the front of the head is that way. The, the intake valve out of number eight, the exhaust out of number seven here, they have to go back in their respective holes because now they're, they're matched to them. So let me see if I can take a close-up look.